Hey YouTubers, artists, how are you? It's Mike Pintar here, getting ready to start uh, a new painting. And uh, this is for a friend of mine who really loved the uh, Lincoln Aviator car commercial where Matthew McConaughey was ice fishing and uh, happens to be positioned on a, a car overlooking a lake that's from Canada. So what I did was go ahead and put together a little mini uh, version just make sure we're heading in the right direction palette wise she wants very neutral uh, grayed down colors and uh, thought that the ultramarine blue and some cobalt blue pal uh, as primaries would accomplish getting that painting done so I've uh, done a quick block in with uh, this guy here on a 22 by 30 canvas stretched so just a quick wash and a quick sketch I'm gonna move a few things around I don't like those two big trees uh, in the front even though the commercial uh, image has those two big pine trees it's a little bit of it's kind of obnoxious I'm, I'm having a trouble uh, getting this one figured out compositionally I want to make some changes so you know we can do that we'll we'll get there but uh, anyway that's the painting for the day for the week and um, kind of goes with hey I shot a nice 70 the other day playing golf down here in central Florida February two under with eight birdies wow who is this guy at least it's not snowing so uh, we'll go have some fun with this painting off we go
Okay, well, um, it's the following morning. So I did uh, a lot of this work yesterday, uh, I don't know, two hours or so, and uh, had a splash of Gal Kid with some OMS as a little bit of medium just to move some things around. Um, it's probably pretty tack, still tacky. Yeah, a little bit of paint, which is okay. So I could do some minor blending uh, if I wanted to. This, uh, you know, the image had this kind of cloudy sky with uh, mountains and the snow and a lot of atmosphere over the this little mountain range. So I kind of wanted to let this set up a little bit and then maybe come back with some touch-up work on the highlights and then start moving and finish up those mountains uh, then go to the water and then the foreground so that's where I got this uh, for the next round I try to switch the camera I know I've always had a problem in this room with angles because hey it's loaded to the absolute max with stuff and I don't have a good spot to put the tripod so I've been out here but then I get a lot of reflection from these overheads and uh, I'm going to try a different angle here for the rest of this painting. All right, well, where I'm at with this is I've got to get this background, uh, the mountains and the sky and the clouds all in and then dry before I can put in these foreground uh, trees. They're going to go up through here and up through here. A um, little bit on these, these trees had some snow on them. So I thought what I would do is just take the knife and scrape it and you can get the uh, instead of putting in white painting that white I thought I'd just use the edge of the knife then and just kind of scrape in a few of those trees so it kind of gives you the the feel of the trees this frozen lake first I thought I would glaze in about 
three or four layers of uh, thalo and blue and some thalo green and then come back over it with a white uh, but I'm debating now whether I just lay that in with some thicker paint with titanium white going over that's going to make it pretty much opaque anyway I might come back then and glaze some areas uh, after that not not sure still trying to figure it out but anyway that's where I'm at with this getting this sky uh, and mountains in there uh, this is going to have to dry because I definitely want to hit this again with some white with maybe a little cad lemon to really make that pop um, for the sun area so anyway that's where I'm at so far it's, it's, it's heading in the right direction no need to panic yet okay on we go
Well, we had to make a couple of changes here in the end, but uh, added some of these grasses in the foreground. But they kind of help tie this receding shoreline piece together to those trees. Now, the idea was to make it somewhat surreal. That's what the customer requested. So that's what I attempted to do. These big, a couple of big pines in front. Frozen shoreline. Some mountainous snow coming out of those clouds. So there we go, 22 by 30 oil on the stretch canvas. Uh, seek my face turn away from your wicked ways and I will save you God said to his people in the middle of uh, the pandemic the coronavirus pandemic praying for peace love happiness and safe uh, returns for everyone